As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. This is a massive threat to the residents of Orland Park, Cook County, and Illinois. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, you know, in 2023, it's looking like there's a strong possibility that um, martial law could be intact, you know, at least in um, Chicago. Because the man that was talking, and I'm going to read the whole account here, that was the mayor of um, Illinois. So pretty much going into effect in um, January 1st, 2023, the things that would normally get people over there in Chicago arrested, all right, or locked up, thrown in jail, or or um, have something like a warrant issue for their arrest, those things is not going to be in effect no more. So now you've been seeing all these different movies of all hell breaking loose. The main one that comes to my mind is The Purge, you know, which is one of my favorite kind of movies because you see how people get in the mindset of survival when their back is against the wall when they got that liberty of freedom you know when they can't take it no more you know when they don't want to abide by the government's rules and regulations you know when they stop you know giving a damn about the constitution they take matters into their own hands which all that is bible prophecy all right so chicago's already damn near a murder zone, all right? We already know how that is, you know, the music, the crime, everything. But it's not just going to be there because you have to remember, there's something going on within America. And by the way, America is Babylon the Great in the Scriptures. You have these police officers in New York, Chicago, different parts of America, Los Angeles, you know, California, you know, the, ma the major states and cities in America, you have the police officers, they're quitting their jobs. So if you got a lack of police officers, you know, who are you people going to call 911? Who's going to come? Who's going to be your hero? You know, who's going to come and rescue you? When you got a criminal that break in your house, they steal your stuff. You know, when a, when a woman get um, raped, wh what's going to happen? Who are these people going to have to call? They're even talking about at the schools where they normally have, you know, the police officers there. They getting rid of that. So you got to think about it in 2023. Like what, what the hell is really going to happen as far as crime? Because crime been going up since the so-called pandemic started. You got people wearing masks. It's been a lot of looting with the jewelry stores, different clothing stores. Cause that's that's pretty much what's going on. You watch the purge. What was what was the thing that everybody had in common? They had their masks. All right. You got dudes. They got the ski masses. Look looking crazy outside. All right. Looking like threats. But because of these policies, and because of these mandates, and because of the law, oh, you got to wear a mask to enter into a business. You got to wear a mask to get on the bus, get on the train. You know, while you're driving. Even in your house, they then they want you to wear a mask, you know, stand six feet. These things been in effect since 2019 to 2020 up until now. 
So, you know, with Jake, our people, they love to supplant. They always looking for some type of come up, you know? So the fact that the government um, tells people to wear the mask, that's why crime is going up as well. They can get away with it. You can't identify the person. Oh, the person was a, a, a black man. You know, he was six feet tall. There's a lot of that. You know, there's a lot of that. So look for crime to go up in 2023. So here's the um article. It says Village of Orland, Orland Park press releases. So the clip that you've seen, this is what the, the article is going to go into. All right. Yep. So Orland Park, which is Illinois. All right. You see the address and everything. So it says Oland Park Village Board speaks out against Safe T Act. So it says, um, let me go down here. I just want to get to the point. It says the resolution that's presented demands that state legislators work with public safety representatives and all community stakeholders to fix remaining problems with the Safe T Act, including but not limited to unreasonably limiting the imposition of cash bail, un unreasonably limiting police officer discretion to make arrests. So that's why I was pretty much dumbing it down for you. Things that would normally get somebody arrested, whether it be a DUI, you know, um, like a public disturbance, an uh, issue um, for somebody's arrest, you know, a warrant. Now, in 2023, starting the new year, see what's going to happen January 1st, 2023. See how much crime is going to take place. People are going to be drunk and high. You know, they're going to be on their different drugs. I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be, it could be a record year for death and crime in 2023. So it says, um, unreasonably limiting police officer discretion to make arrests imposing unreasonable police certification and decertification standards, mandating unreasonable um, custodial accommod accommodations, <clears throat> unreasonably allowing offenders to violate terms of their release, and violating victims' rights as outlined in Illinois' law. We must not. Now, the person that's talking is what you've seen in the clip to begin this video. All right. So this is what he said. He said, we must not allow this law to stand as passed, said Oland Park Mayor Keith Piquil. I can't even begin to tell you how dangerous this act is. The mayor listed a handful of provisions that will go into effect January 1st, 2023. We're only a couple months away from this. It says the abolition of cash bail for almost every offense, including but not limited to kidnapping, <laughs> armed robbery, second degree murder, drug induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. All right. So if you got a dude, he got the ankle monitor on, you know, he just been released from jail. I'm just I'm explaining what I'm reading. All right. So that's say he viol he violates that. They they can't um, arrest him for 48 hours. All right. Even even if he's been violating it for 47 hours, but then that one hour, you know, he goes back in the zone where they could monitor him. He'll be let off the hook. But also with this law, it gives criminals pretty much the liberty to like get away where you can't find them. Because 48 hours is a long time. You could do a lot in 48 hours. You could lead a country in 48 hours. You know, you could relocate anywhere in 48 hours. So with this law. It's pretty much giving criminals a pass, all right? So crime is going to go up. So with something like this, this is where the military, in the form of martial law, has to be enacted because you have a lack of police officers, all right? You got police officers that's going to lose their job, 
A lot of them is going to be put to death next year. So you're going to have the military. They're going to have to come in and pretty much just take over the government because of the lawlessness, because of the crime, because of the, the death that's going on. So it says denies victims their constitutional rights. Officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from their residence or place of business. Now, that's crazy. That is crazy. So imagine you own a small business, right? And you got a dude that walk in there with a mask or a ski mask, and he threatening all your customers. You know, your customers, they, they help you pay your bills. You know, you might be cool with them. You might small talk them. All right. And he's pretty much being a public disturbance. He threatening people. He trying to fight. You could call the cops, but the cops can't do nothing, though. So these are the type of days we coming into. This is why we use the phrase, all hell's going to break loose. Because you're going to have absolutely no power. It says, um, someone could decide to live in your shed. That's crazy. So all this proud ass independent spirit, the Lord is going to take that away in 2023. Slowly but surely. It's going to begin at Chicago and other major states and cities in America. It says... Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we could do is give them a ticket. That's crazy. They trespassing your they trespassing your property without your permission. Imagine you was in a state where you're not even licensed to carry. You know, you can't even self-defend yourself because if you do that, now you breaking the law. Although you're justified, but now you breaking the law. They come there and arrest you. Meanwhile, the um the trespasser you know, this nigga is still living in your shed <laughs> on your property that you pay rent and mortgage for. You know, it's ridiculous, man. It says, um, said Pakayu, you know, the mayor, it says this is a massive threat to residents of Old Land Park, Cook County and Illinois. But but it doesn't end here. There is currently a bill in front of the house to remove school resource officers from our schools which means no school resource officer at Sandburg High School, the city of Chicago, has already done this, he said. I personally do not want to see the city of Chicago become the standard for how we conduct public safety because they have abandoned their police officers, abandoned their residents, and created a war zone full of criminals. So this is what the... Yeah. This is what the government wants. They they want to purge. They want all hell to break loose. This is what they want. Because this is it. You, you think we're going to be living year to year? Oh, they just doing drills. Okay, that, that might happen. Nah, we living in the times where all these drills we've been seeing over the years, you know, us prophesying as the men of the Lord. Nah, this shit has to happen. It's time for it to happen. So you're going to see... The judgment of the Lord take place in the form of Jacob's trouble. It says, it's like, it's like they won't stop until they destroyed our communities and our society. And that's what you see. The music is negative as hell. All right. Oh, I'm going to shoot this nigga. I'm going to shoot her. You know, I'm going to F his woman. This is what they sing about. All right. This is what they're doing. They're lowering the vibration of the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, but the whole world. This is what they influence in the music. This is what you see in the movies. All right? It's nothing but wickedness here. Continuing on, it says, explain PQ, we all need to take a stand against this. This is a very dangerous bill. What the scriptures say in Matthew 12 and 26, if Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? So there's a lot of division amongst the biblical Edomites, the so-called white man in seed. So their empire is crumbling. It says, um, yep, as leaders charged with ensuring public safety in our communities, we cannot ignore the complete disregard for the safety of our residents due to the details of this act that will be put in place by state legislators and the impact it will have on our police department's ability to reduce and deter criminal activities. So if you want to check this article out, 
It's on olandpark.org. All right. So without further ado, let's get into some Bible prophecy. But before I do that, this is what I found. Look, Chicago police court in. And just read the title, Chicago police officer. See, look at that. Crime is crazy over there. Look at that. See? Wait until 2023. It's going to be even worse than that. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose. Yep, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So all the current events that you see happening on the planet Earth, the reason why it's happening the way that it's happening is because the Heavenly Father ordained it, all right, in the form of biblical prophecy. So now I'm going to skip down. Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate. And this is the time period we're living in. This ain't no loving time. You got crime going up. Ain't no, ain't no loving it. You know, people are about to become desperate. Why? Because America, which is Babylon the Great, is going to go through a global economic collapse or economic collapse. All right. But the economic collapse is not just going to be in America. It's going to be global. It says a time to love and a time to hate. It's a time to hate because people is going to be angry. They're not going to understand what the hell is going on, although they were they were um, warned by the prophets. Right. The men of Great Millstone, the men that follow Great Millstone. And teach the same exact doctrine. You know, you was warned of these prophecies. And the, and you unbelieving Israelites, the unfaithful, you know, you want to mock your heritage. Oh, I don't believe in that book. Oh, y'all negative. Oh, y'all a hate group. Watch what the Lord is going to do to you. Because you didn't repent. You didn't take heed when the doors of mercy was open. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war. We're in a time of war. All right. It says, and a time of peace. Because you're going to have World War III take place, which is fought by thermonuclear missiles. And the end result of that is what? The destruction of Babylon the Great, which you see on the screen. That's biblical prophecy. Revelation, the 18th chapter, all throughout the Bible. All right? But you're also going to have a civil war that's going to take place within society. People forming militia groups. And every time you have a new elected president or some type of controversial conspiracy bill that comes out that makes people want to rush to the gun stores and buy up all the bullets you know buy up all the guns because you got doomsday preppers you got people that live out in the mountains for years and they waiting for these type of events to happen they they ready to get busy so that's what's going to happen that's what you see in the movies the purge people form their militias right they got their masks so this is the time period we're living in 2023 is going to be worse than any yeah, we seen. I'm telling you. So now let's go to this. This is Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity, what's iniquity? Sin upon sin. And because iniquity shall abound. All right, what's going to abound? Crime. Crime is going to continue to go up. And these bills that's being passed is giving criminals the liberty and freedom to get away with these crimes. Wear your mask. Oh, you can't identify the person. You know, what, what use is a camera if you can't see the person's face, you know? So all these different laws that's coming out is all engineered. This is what the bankers want, all right, which the bankers are Edomites. This is what they want. They're engineering these things for people to get angry and kill one another. So it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because of an economic collapse, because... America is going through a recession, all right? People people can barely afford to, to um, survive till they get paid again. Most jobs, you get paid every two weeks, all right? And even if you have a job that pays you daily, like the apps, you know, it's always one thing after another. It's always something that pops up where you don't have no money, you know? Fees, you know, extra bills. Maybe your parents need to borrow money. It's, it's always something. So people is going to be desperate soon. And when somebody is desperate, that's when their survival instincts really kick in. And they're not going to care what they got to do to survive, even if it means putting somebody to death or setting them up or robbing them. That's what's going to happen in society. 
When society falls, that's what happens to the people. So now let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Because this is not just going to be here in Babylon the Great. This is going to be a worldwide thing. Now, in certain other parts of the world, it's already commencing. You know, look at South America. Their crime is ridiculous, too. Central America, ridiculous. And they're, they're bolder over there. It says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. So, because you have the police officers that's quitting their jobs, all right? You got these new laws that's allowing criminals to get away with crime. The cops is going to be like, F this. You know, we got our families. We got our own lives. I'm not going to put my life in danger when I got a family just to protect people I don't even know. You know, it's going to be a waste of time being a cop. So now you're going to either have the National Guard come in or you're going to have martial law just take over the government. Because crime is going to run rampant in 2023 all across America because of a recession. It says for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. So that's what's getting ready to happen. The destruction of these economies, which is going to put the people in these countries in a, de in a desperate state. It says that one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right. And that's exactly what's going to happen. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. So you're going to have vandalism take place. You're going to have. Um, home robberies, home burglaries. That's what's going to happen. Because if you don't got no money to buy no goods, how are you going to eat? You know, what if you got a family? How are you going to feed your family? So people is going to be desperate. Why? Because they don't have the faith in Yahweh Shai. You know? So what's going to happen? They're going to do things that an unbeliever would do. It's not like they're going to pray to your hubba ba shim Nah, they're going to take matters into their own hands. I'm going to break into this person's house and take their stuff. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard the king's no princes, a.k.a. what? The law, all right? The constitution, the different policies that these governments come up with. People is going to stop caring about that, and they're going to take matters into their own hands. That's why it says sedition, an uprising against the government or the authorities in power. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. So they're not going to care about no cops and none of that. They're going to take matters, matters into their own hands. They hungry. They're going to go out and they're going to get some food. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because martial law is going to be intact. When you look at a FEMA map. Is split up to 10 different regions. All right? So that's what's going to happen. Martial law is going to have to take over and regulate things. People is going to be thrown in concentration camps, right? It says, for because of their pride, all right, what type of pride? Wanting to take matters into your own hands, not letting the police or the army, you know, in the form of martial law, you know, regulate things. People is going to take things into their own hands so this is what's going to happen. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Right? What's the pride? The crime that's going to be going on. People taking things into their own hands. That's why the cities is going to be troubled with what? Martial law. When they have the command to kill on sight. It says the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Exactly. So even if you was cool with a person, you always small talk them. Oh, have a good day. You know, the, cor the corny stuff, you know, corny conversations. Hey, the day is going to come. Like the scriptures say, the love of many is going to wax cold. So these different friendships and relationships, that's going to come to an end. When people will become desperate. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Sword is a killing instrument, right? It says, and spoil their goods. Take their goods. Why? Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So this is what's going to happen. This is going to be a worldwide thing. This is why the scriptures say concerning Jacob's trouble that there's no day that's like it. Because everybody is affected by this. All right. So now let's go to this. This is Isaiah chapter 24 
and verse 10. It says the city of confusion is broken down. All right, what's the city of confusion today? Babylon the Great, America, which all these other countries, you know, you become westernized. You start developing westernized characteristics. Why? Because you copy off of America, which is Babylon the Great. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a cry. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. So all them fun times and happy times, that's coming to an end. It says, and the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. So this is what we're witnessing and it's only going to get worse. I'm going to end it with this. Jeremiah 30 and 5, I'm going to read down to 7. For thus saith the Lord, yep, for thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. That's why I opened up with Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Because they tell you things is going to go back to normal. You know, one moment, you don't got to wear a mask. Next moment, you do got to wear a mask. One moment, you know, the, um, the cases of the ABC, you know, 18 to the 19 is down. But then now there's another species of it. Or they got another plague that's coming out. You know, the MP. So it says, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Meaning what? Things ain't going to go back to normal. There's always one thing after the other. Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Men don't travail with child, but it's going into the emotions, how people in society is going to be. They're going to be scared. They ain't going to know what's coming next. It says, ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore? Do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Because your status in society is going to be gone. All right. All your securities that make you feel prideful. You think you better than somebody. The Lord is going to take that away from you. It says, and all faces are turned into paleness. Paleness meaning what? Feeble and weak. Because you're going to be in a feeble and weak state during a recession, during an economic collapse. All right. Well, you can't defend yourself. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. So there's no event or scenario that's ever happened on the earth that's going to be comparable to Jacob's trouble. All right. A global economic collapse where all nations is involved in this. All countries is involved in this leading up to what? The hour of temptation, the time period when they make this mandatory. So they got to have all hell break loose. In order to bring this in as the solution. So these are the this is the time period we're living in. So it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, which Jacob trouble involves what? A global economic collapse, the persecution of the Hebrew Israelites. All right? And then during that time period, the hour of temptation. So you're gonna have a lot of things take place. The FEMA camps, martial law. Crime going up, all hell breaking loose, purged, all that. It says, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he, the elect of the nation of Israel, the believers, shall be saved out of it. So there you go, man. So the brothers that have this truth, Lord willing, through Yahweh's blood and sacrifice, we can endure unto the end and be saved. And we will be. All right, Lord willing. So Lord willing, he was edified. Shalom.